This is Krista from Krista Music, and you are listening to the My Stuttering Life podcast, hosted by Pedro Pena. So let's get started. What's up, guys? This is Pedro from My Stuttering Life, where you will hear the good, the bad, the very ugly. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry, but through it all, just know that you are not alone. So let's get started. This is episode number 52, and my special guest is Vicki Gilbert. Vicki has worn many hats over the years, from musician, to student, to retail worker, to managing a popular food chain, and is currently working towards attaining her dreams of becoming an author, one page at a time. She lives with her spouse and four cats in a small town in Missouri, and when she's not working or writing, she creates YouTube videos in her free time. I am honored to have her as a guest with me on the My Stuttering Life podcast. Welcome, Vicki Gilbert. Hello there. Hi, Vicki. How's it going? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Well, would like to thank you for coming on this this podcast, and we have a lot of topics to cover, so let's get started. Okie dokie. So do you remember when you first began to stutter? Uh, the farthest back that I can remember was, I'd say probably around three. Uh, so I, I actually grew up in, in, in Florida for the first half of my life. Um, and uh, around two or three was when um, Hurricane Andrew uh, had happened, which um, um, at the time was uh uh, probably one of the worst hurricanes to go through Florida. Obviously now there's been some other ones that have been a little bit worse, but the uh, hurricane pretty much almost completely destroyed the, the, the area that, that um, I was in. Uh, and um, uh, we ended up moving in with my aunt uh, and my cousin. Um, and uh, it was around that time that um, I started noticing, I guess, that I stuttered probably because I was just around someone who, you know, I could talk to more frequently as opposed to, you know, just, me and my Sesame Street TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I love me some Sesame Street. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, so that's when, uh, you know, my mom and my aunt um, 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 uh, noticed that um, I had a stutter, which uh, which we knew that uh, my cousin did. Um, and he was uh, probably about four, four or five years older than me. Uh, and so they originally thought that I was just copying him because we did everything together. Uh, but as I got older, they realized that I did actually, you know, have my own stutter. Okay. Now you mentioned that your cousin stuttered, but w w w were there any family members in your nuclear family who had stuttered? Uh, not that I know of. Um, I know for sure my mom didn't. Um, I don't remember my dad doing it at all. Um, uh, uh, but I do know that um, um, growing up um, uh, that um, English wasn't his first language. Uh, um, uh, so like the first uh, uh, couple of years of his life, you know, he, he, he was only around Spanish and then it wasn't until he got into school that he started learning English. Uh, so maybe that had something to do with it. Um, I do know that I have another cousin on my dad's side of the family um, who also stutters. Um, but um, I think his was um, related to hearing stuff growing up. He had a lot of um, ear infections as a kid uh, that, that they kind of uh, stunted his speech a little bit as he was growing up. Uh, so um uh, to my knowledge, um, 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 neither of my, uh, my, my parents had stutters, um, which I, I, again, I guess is, uh, assuming why they, you know, originally thought it was just a copycat thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, you know, my mom stuttered, but, um, I believe she was the only one, um, in our family. Now, have you ever had speech therapy in school um and um if you did was it helpful um i didn't really have any actual um um um, um a traditional um um, um a therapy uh, i uh, remember uh probably in like the second grade um uh, being uh in a speech class for uh, 
maybe half of the school year. Um, and um, uh, growing up in Florida, speech was kind of split up between kids with um, speech impediments and then also kids with uh, with uh, with who who uh, you know didn't speak English as their first language. And so half of the class would would you know be with uh, you know like a teacher that would you know help them kind of connect the uh, the uh, correct words together. And then um, the other class would be, you know, kids like me that, you know, we just kind of go over like, like different phonics and sounds. Um, um, and, but, but like um, outside of that, you know, one specific class uh, that I want to say I did it my, uh, it was second grade and third grade. Um, uh, but then after that, I'm, um, um, I am, um, I never really did anything um, uh, with it. Um, I kind of wish I had growing up because uh, I'm curious as to, um, you know, how much better my speech would be now. Uh, but I mean, I've just kind of been doing my thing. <laughs> All right. Now, how was high school as a stutter? Because, you know, high school is stressful um, enough with you know, the hormones and the peer pressure and everything else. But um, if you add on a stutter, <laughs> how was high school f- yeah. for you, Vicky? Um, so, uh, me personally, I've always been, um, kind of a, like a small group of friends type of person. Um, um, I uh, never really had a huge group of friends. Uh, so as far as that went, like once I found, you know, my two or three people that I hung out with all the time, I, I just kind of stick with them. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm by nature a talkative person. Uh, but whenever I'm introduced into a new area, I'm always deemed the quiet kid because I know that, you know, if I have to, uh, you know, introduce myself or tell a long story, if I, if I get too excited about it, or if I start talking too fast, I'm going to stutter and, and just, you know, like, I just try to like avoid that. So I usually just don't talk a lot until I feel more comfortable and then know that I won't stutter as much because I'm comfortable. And so that's kind of how high school went for me. Um, um, and in any classes where I had to give speeches, I just kind of dreaded it and figured, well, it's not going to go good, but I guess at least if the actual paperwork side of it's okay, then maybe the teacher will go easy on me. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I know those days well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then um, I, uh, in middle school, I joined a band. Um, 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 I played the, the uh, trombone through uh, middle school and high school and then uh, for a few years of college. Uh, and I just kind of, you know, found my home with, with, with band and playing music. Uh, and, and, and um, you know, like and as long as I was around folks who I was comfortable with, I, I, um, I didn't stutter as much. Uh, so, you know, you know, like everyone knew, oh, well, Vicky stutters. So, you know, they just kind of rolled along with it. Um, I didn't have uh, to deal with too much bullying or anything uh, as far as my stuttering went, um, I feel like it was more so in middle school that I got made fun of it uh, for, uh, whereas in high school, you know, everyone just kind of had their own groups and we just kind of stuck together. And um, my group knew that I stuttered, so they didn't make a big deal out of it. We have these similar backgrounds, Vicki, because in, um, you know, grade school and junior high, the kids were, I mean, just out and out mean. I mean, they were cruel. <laughs> yeah. They would call me Porky Pig. And yeah. I mean, it, it, oh gosh, I mean, it was just horrible. But in, but in, but in high school, what helped me is joining the drama club because that group of awesome individuals, they just welcomed me in. And granted, you know, I told them all that, you know, I, I have a stutter. I can never do plays or prose or poetry or, you know, or whatnot. And they said, sure you can. And so I'm thought, <laughs> I thought, really? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> and so they would um, help me and teach me and guide me on um, how to play a part in a play. And so one day... They asked, would I be okay playing the lion in the Wizard of Oz? Ah. Um, and so I said, uh, yeah. I mean, because, you know, you have a, <laughs> an awesome costume. And then when I got home, I, th- I thought about it. I said, I said, oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> what did I just do? And that's when everything hit me. I mean, I had severe anxiety anxiety and f- and crippling fear and then my heart was hurting but the cool part was 
the next day, that's when I voiced all of my concerns. And they said, oh, you'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. And they, they, you know, gave me my parts. And then I practiced and practiced and practiced. And then here was the cool part. The night of the play, you know, I was in costume. They had me in full head makeup. I mean, it, I mean, they done did me really good in that whole lion <laughs> costume. And once I hit that stage, it was weird. I was in Pedro. I was the lion. And the lion did not stutter. Therefore, I did not stutter. And there were people in the audience just mouths open going, how can Pedro do that? <laughs> I mean, it it was the best night ever. So, so the drama club has a special place in my heart because they took me in and they were extremely helpful and supportive and guided me through that rough part of my high school life. So, you know, I am just forever grateful to the drama club. Woohoo! <laughs> Great. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, Vicki, do you have any advice for parents and teachers with with regards to children who stutter? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, obviously the, the big one is, is, is patience. That's, that's really, um, uh, what, you know, kids with stutters need. Um, um, uh, I, uh, can, um, you know, remember growing up and whatnot, you know, like, especially when we were still going through that, you know, age of like, you know, the whole, you know, like, are you copying your cousin? Are you not type thing? Um, 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 the worst thing you can, you can say to a kid who, who stutters is to uh, just spit it out. Uh, that, that was probably the thing that, 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 that really bothered me that the, the, the most growing up was when, you know, people would say, you know, just spit it out or like, you know, they do the whole, you know, come on hand motion. Oh yeah. That's horrible. Cause, cause, oh yeah. It's, you know, cause, cause you're trying, you want to just spit it out, but you can't. <laughs> Uh, so, so, you know, patience is, is, is really, you know, you know, the biggest thing that, you know, you can have with, uh, you know, anyone who stutters, whether it's a kid or a adult and just, you know, be understanding, you know, you remember they are s still a person, even if they can't get their words out and, 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 you know, respect that. Uh, and, and, and for teachers, I'm especially, um, 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 one of the things that, um, I am, I didn't even think about until, you know, college, um, um, um. Um, was that if you recognize that uh, that uh, you know one of your students has has a stutter, um, uh, to uh, you know keep that in mind whenever you know you're doing class presentations. Um, 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 I was in a, a speech class during college. Uh, that um, um, uh, it, it, I I am I am I am ended up taking it twice. The first time I completely bombed. Um, uh, you, Partly because I, I, you know, have a have a five to a eight minute presentation that if I could just say it all, I could get through pretty quickly. But because I stuttered the whole time, would take almost twenty minutes, which then ended up being ten minutes over the allotted time. <laughs> uh, and and um, it um, it wasn't until the, the 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 second time I took it when I was halfway through the class that uh, my mom, you know, suggested like, hey, so why don't you tell your teacher that you have a stutter? So that way she knows that like, if you're taking longer to do something, uh, that it's not because you didn't practice, but it's because you, you're just having trouble with your words. And it was like a light bulb went off. And I was like, why didn't I ever think about that? School would have been a lot easier if I just said, hey, so I have a stutter, this is going to take a little bit longer, please be patient, or, or, you know, please be understanding, you know, uh, and, and so I feel like if uh, teachers in general kind of took note of that more, uh, then maybe, you know, they could, you know, kind of have that, that, that like special, you know, you know, connection with that 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 a student uh and 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 you know help them out in ways that would you know make them feel better about themselves going through the class as opposed to feeling like oh well you know i i um i uh, you know can't give give uh you know this presentation the way that everyone else does because because i'm not going to be able to do this and i can't do all of these you know cool things and 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 i'm a my speech 
that, uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to do because, you know, like I might end up, you know, stumbling over this phrase or, you know, things like that, or like even, you know, going as far as, you know, letting them, you know, maybe do like a video recording of their speech instead of standing in front of the entire class. And then you have all of that anxiety that's just going to make you freeze up and block and, you know, stumble over, you know, letters that uh, you don't even normally stumble over, but you're so nervous, you're just, <laughs> you know, going all over yeah, the place. Yeah, right. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's nice. great advice. I mean, because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, in, in school, um, I thought that, you know, they would hear me speak and then skip over me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I mean, you know, they would call on kids one after another down the row. And so when it was my turn, I would just raise my hand and go to the restroom. And so that way. Yeah. <laughs> right. That worked for years. And so the uh, teachers oh. thought that, you know, um, that, um, you know, did I have a medical problem? And it was like, no, <laughs> no, I just I can't do what the other kids are doing because I did it one time. Oh, and let me tell you, that was just horrible. I mean, I couldn't even. And, you know, this was a small paragraph, but. To a stutterer, I mean, that mm -hmm. may have been a book. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I couldn't even get get the first letter out. And then the other kids were pointing and laughing and, mm -hmm. you know, porky pig. And then, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's when I told myself, that ain't never going to happen again. <laughs> I said, no, mm -hmm. I will yep. just excuse <laughs> myself. And I said, I will yep. come back and then... When I did come back, they they had skipped over me, and I said, "Ooh, thank you, hallelujah." <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That actually reminds me of um, I I I kind of forgot about this, uh, but uh, back in elementary school, um, I um, remember um, um, it was um, around Christmas time, and um, we were learning about the the uh, the um, night before uh, um, 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 Christmas, um, you know. The, that, that that whole you know little story uh and um um um, uh, um uh, they'd give you know like a line or two to uh to um each kid in the class and uh you know then we'd you know go around you know and just you know read our lines and stuff and and you know then we watch the movie or something on it and, and and i sat there for for the entire time just waiting for my line to come and i'm going over it in my head and going over it and i'm like all you have to do is just say these handful of words you can do it you <laughs> exactly got this, you got this. <laughs> And sure enough, it'd get to me, and I just, as a, I knew exactly what I had to say. I had it planned in my head, and it just, it, it, it and, and it was literally like maybe two lines, and I, I just would fumble over the whole thing, and then you know, there's the embarrassment and all that, and I was like, and 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 I, and, I, and it really sucked because I love reading. I've always loved reading. I'm a very avid reader, and I, I just eat everything up with reading. But if I had to read out loud, I just. I just wouldn't. I was just terrified. I was like, no, they're going to make fun of me. I'm not going to be able to say this. Like, I know all of these words, but I just can't say them. And it was, it was just elementary school was really hard. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, kids, I mean, they were the cruelest. I mean, they can be. <laughs> it was quite traumatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully I have moved on. So, uh, <laughs> yes. all right. Let's switch gears a little bit. Job wise, had you ever, have you ever um, experienced discrimination on the job because of your stutter? Um, from a boss's standpoint, uh, no. But from the customer standpoint, I've actually received a lot of of uh, just rude behavior. Um, 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 I have uh, uh, so <laughs> it's probably not the best idea on on, on a, my side, uh, just because, you know, phones and everything, and that's never a good thing for me. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, for uh, probably about a half a year, I worked at a call center, which, oh you know, no, the money was great, <laughs> but talking on the phones for your job as a stutterer was probably not the brightest idea <laughs> that I've ever had. <laughs> my heart is hurting right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, uh, um, um, they were offering overtime um, one weekend, which I took because I was like, yeah, I could pay some extra bills. Those would be cool beans. Uh, and and not thinking about it, you know, I, I, I had already been working a lot of hours, so I was tired going into it. I'm talking on the phone and 
And um, I had this one customer, and I was trying to help her out with stuff and, and get things going for her. But um, but um, 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 because I was so tired, I I just I, I was stumbling over everything. I'm trying to explain things. I'm blocking, and it's and and she, and, and I can tell she's getting frustrated, and I'm getting frustrated because she's frustrated. And I'm like, I just want to say this thing to help you out, lady. I promise, you know, we can get this figured out. But he's just got to give me a couple of moments here because I'm real tired and I just can't get my words out right. And um, I, I want to say she either ended up hanging up or a uh, or 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 uh, maybe um, escalating up to a manager. I am a forget now because it's been a little bit. Uh, but but then later on that week, um, 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 like um, I guess because she had um, submitted a uh, a um, a customer survey on 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 uh, the call. Um, um, you know, whenever there is a, a negative review, you have to sit down with the with the with the manager over over your team, and I'm listen to the call and uh, and I'm a go oh, over no. it. And uh, so we did that, and uh, you know, she read to me what the what the customer like um, review was, and um and uh, the lady said uh, that um, the company should hire people that can um, explain things better because the girl couldn't couldn't uh, couldn't um, tell me what I needed to do to fix my problem. And, and wow. I was just like on the inside, I was like this, like horrible mix of like angry at this right. woman, but also just feeling horrible about myself because it's like, I knew exactly what I wanted to say to her, but I just couldn't get it out. And my manager was like, so what can we do to fix this? And I was thinking to myself, well, I mean, if you can get rid of my stutter, that'll fix everything. <laughs> Hello. But obviously we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, that was, that was not a very good weekend for me, but you know, but, but, but as far as bosses go, I've never really had, you know, too many uh, troubles and whatnot, you know, like, like I've, I've always been some form of a cashier or like dealing with public and, 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 uh, you know, you know, I've, uh, I've, I've had bosses who, who, you know, can recognize, Hey, so Vicky's kind of tired today. She's probably going to have some troubles with her words. And, and, you know, if, if need be, they can step in and kind of like, you know, explain something for me if I'm, you know, obviously having, you know, trouble saying it, uh, or they just kind of roll along with it and, uh, you know, hope that everything goes well. Um, I, I, I can't recall really having any, and any bosses that have, uh, you, you, you know, kept me from doing things or said, well, maybe this isn't for you. Um, I, I've had one or two, uh, coworkers that have, you know, kind of, because it's, it's going to happen. I've, I just accepted that fact, you know, and it was there as a kid, it's going to be there as an adult, but I've had, you know, it, it doesn't happen nearly as often anymore, but I'd say every couple of times, you know, you know just, just every few times during a year, there's going to be that one coworker that's going to make fun of my stutter a little bit. And I just kind of roll along and I'm like, yep, exactly. And then I keep saying what I'm saying. And then they kind of feel a little bit bad, which makes me feel a little bit good, which probably <laughs> isn't good, but I just roll with it. Cause you know, you, you gotta have something every once in a yes, while. Yes, you do. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Yes, you do. <laughs> hey, right? You know. Keeping it real, Vicky. We're keeping it real. <laughs> yeah, for keeping it real. <laughs> like I'm a pretty humble person, but sometimes I just want to stick it to people, and and if that's my little way of doing it every so often, then I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, that's great that you have a boss who is who is very um, what's the word? Is aware, um, and will give you accommodations. That's great. Now. Have you experienced depression because of your st 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 stutter? And um, um, if you did, did you seek treatment for it? Um, that one's a little bit harder, uh, because because you know everyone goes through through that phase somewhere like in their twenties, uh, where you know they feel like they're just never gonna get there in life in general, and 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 um, I definitely went through that. You know, I I my my uh my my college years were uh, interesting to say the least i i i made a lot of mistakes uh, made a lot of comebacks made a lot of more mistakes and then finally found something that i fit into and i just went with it uh but uh so so i dealt with a lot of that so i guess it was kind of more general depression um as far as my stutter goes um i i can't say that um i ever 
you know, had to deal with actual depression. Uh, but I did let it hold me back a lot when I was younger, for sure. Um, uh, there were a lot of times where, you know, like I knew that I could step in and like, you know, like, oh yeah, I can leave this project that, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to set up and I can do this or, or like, oh yeah, I can go and, uh, you know, talk to that guy over there. He's pretty cute. Or like, you know, I can go and, uh, you, 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 you know, help out that, that customer that's standing over there that's, 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 you know, clearly a little bit lost in what they're trying to do. But then I wouldn't because I'd be like, no, I'm going to have to do a lot of talking with that. And, 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 and I don't want to have to stutter in front of them because that's just going to make them more frustrated. So I held myself back a lot, which I, uh, which, which I kind of regret now because I feel like had I just done it, that I would have kind of come to a much better, um, a self-acceptance, I guess, earlier. Uh, cause, cause now I'm like, you know, I stutter, uh, people can deal with it. You know, they can either be patient and wait, or they cannot hear what I have to say. And hopefully it wasn't something important that's gonna, you know, mess them up later because they could have just listened, but they chose not to. So that's on them. Uh, whereas when I was younger, I just, I just let it kind of control me a bit more. And, and I was just more afraid of it. That part, um, also, that was also my um, my background. And so, um, I mean, that, um, that brought back a lot of memories. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> it's like, wow. Yes. It's, it's all coming back to me now. Aww. So, okay. Let me ask you this. Okay. So when I go out with my colleagues or my buddies, and so when, when I've had a couple of Roman Cokes, cause you know, that's my jam. When I do a couple of rum and cokes, I have like perfect speech. I mean, I'm having the best time. I'm talking to everybody. I mean, I'm, I mean, I am just having the bestest time. So let me ask you, does drinking alcohol, does it improve your speech or, or does it make it worse? I'd say it depends on the amount. There's, there's, there's like that, there's, there's that like happy medium of like, you know, not completely, you know, plastered, but like, you know, past tips. Right. Where, uh, where, uh, to my knowledge, I can't think of any time where, you know, I had any issues with it. Uh, but I know that prior to that, I still stutter, just not as much. It, you know, I'm, I'm, um, 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 my body's just more relaxed, you know, because of the alcohol. Uh, and, and so, you know, it's just, just easier to let things flow. Uh, and, and then when I get to that point of like, a yeah, I'm definitely, uh, I've definitely had a few, but you know, I'm not like that drunk then, th then, you know, things are going really good. Uh, probably, I guess, cause I'm not thinking about it. And then again, just because I'm just really relaxed and just enjoying myself and, you know, having fun. And then, um, when I hit that point where I was like, okay, I'm drunk. I probably have a little too much. I need to sit down. <laughs> then it's, you know, I, 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 uh, it's probably more of, you know, just words getting switched around and stuff, uh, which could be because I'm drunk, could be because of my stutter. I don't really know. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, a uh, it's, or, or, or like I'll say something and then realize, wait, that's not the right way you say that. I said that really weird. Let me say that again. <laughs> oh yeah. I've been there too. So <laughs> Many mm -hmm. people have told me that um, I should drink all day. I said, no, <laughs> you know, that's not a viable option for me right now. <laughs> right. Alcoholism. Yeah. Starting, no. Th <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, man, you know. Yeah. I can't really do that right now. So. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, though, um, 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 it um, definitely puts me in a much you know, better mood to, to be sociable in general. Uh, I, so, so, so I, I like to karaoke, um, a lot like and whatnot. It's just kind of one of those, those, I, I guess you can call it a hobby. Uh, and, and I'm considerably, uh, more, um, apt to be the first one to volunteer, uh, when I've drank a bit, uh, versus when I haven't, cause I, you know, then there, there's the whole, you know, just general, like, oh, I have to sing in front of people, but also that, that, that kind of, um, in ground, uh, you know, being in front of people, you know, thing that, 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 uh, that fear that's kind of always there just in general, because of my stutter, that kind of goes away when I've drank and I'm like, yeah, let's sing these songs. I got a whole list. I'm going to do this thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny that you say that because that's what, um, we did 
last night at the hotel. So <laughs> okay. I love me some yeah. karaoke. It's all good. Mm-hmm. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Sure. So what is the most effective technique that you do for fluency? Um, so I've, I've kind of got some, um, I guess self-trained slash, uh, picked up from other folks, uh, things that I do. Um, so, um, obviously the, 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 the one that probably every stutterer does is, uh, if, 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 if I'm stuck on a word or if I'm blocking really hard, then I stop for a second, take a breath and then, and then try and continue on. And, um, and then if, if I'm, you know, having, you know, like a, like a long drawn out conversation or like I'm trying to explain something to someone and, uh, you know, like I don't really have uh, the option to stop right away, uh, then I, um, um, and, and I don't know if it was something that I, I, I read somewhere that, that helped. And so I tried it or if I just did it one day and it worked. So I rolled with it and just didn't even realize I was doing it until I finally recognized it. Uh, but I'll, um, um. Um, if I get stuck on like a filler word or if, uh, if, if, if I get stuck on a letter, um, uh, then I'll do like a snap with my fingers to, 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 to kind of break the thought process, I guess, with the audible sound. And then, uh, usually it works. So there are a few times where I'm just stuttering really hard and, and, you know, I just kind of got to push my way through it and hope that word comes out eventually. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, uh, or, um, I'll just, you know, try to quickly think of another word that essentially means the same thing, or, um, it gets the same idea, um, you, you know, out, uh, and, and then go with that word. Cause I know for sure that, yeah, that's a letter I can say for sure right now and it'll be fine. Yeah. Th- there was a time wh- when I would, um, hit my leg to start a rhythm, you know, to, to hopefully, hopefully get the word out. Um, and when that didn't work i would have this full range of of you know facial tics you yeah. know <laughs> i blink a lot. oh yes yes and so people were looking at me tapping my leg having all these facial tics oh, looking no. everywhere <laughs> <laughs> except at the person and <laughs> yeah <laughs> they are i'm asking me do i need medical attention <laughs> Right. Yeah. It's like, like, no, I just have a block. Just please be patient. (laughs) It will come out. Just give me four hours and, you know, it will come out. Just. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So one of the techniques that that um, I learned that I still use is diaphragmatic breathing. That took me a couple of years um, to fine tune. Because when you inhale through your belly, you take in a lot of air. And then as you um, exhale, you begin to speak. However, you sound like a robot. So here it. Got you. Yeah. So here's a little demonstration. So my name is Pedro Pena. And when I use diaphragmatic breathing, I do not stutter because I am using my air to help me pronounce my words. And that's a little robotic. And so <laughs> it took, but, you got but it I got out. it all out. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it took me a couple of years to get out of that robot voice. And that's the, the technique that I still use today. So, you know, I'm very thankful to my speech therapist and my hypnotherapist that taught me the, um, skill of diaphragmatic breathing. That's really cool. Now, has this ever happened to you? Um, You are having a conversation and then you have a block and the person is, is, uh, is telling you, why don't you just sing it for me? (laughs) Um, (laughs) So I'm curious, has that ever happened to you? Um, I, I don't think I've ever actually had anyone, um, ask me to sing, sing. To oh, them. wow. You're so lucky. <laughs> as, as, as far as, uh, as far as the conversation goes, but, um, I will say that, uh, to date, I can't recall a time that I've sang 
um, a song or anything and have stuttered. And I, and I don't, I, I honestly have no idea how it works, but, but whenever I sing, I don't stutter. And it, and, and, and like in my head, it doesn't make sense. Cause I mean, you'd think if you're going to stutter, you know, like, like with anything that that would be when you would, but if I'm singing, I don't stutter. And it's just that weird thing. I know me too. There's a little ditty that, that um i have in my head so when whenever i have to do something that that might test my speech you know i will sing out loud and so here's a little bit so if i dream everything i want to be if i dream all the possibilities if you just believe then you will perceive that it will come true and that helps me out <laughs> awesome <laughs> you're a really good singer oh, okay thank you the <laughs> checks in the mail thank you thank you thank you <laughs> you're the best vicky you're the best <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> okay <laughs> i try so here is a hot topic okay so do you let others help you finish your sentences? Uh, to a point. Um, when I was younger, um, I was a little bit more, um, um, I guess, um, hesitant about doing it. Uh, now that I'm older, um, I, I don't mind nearly as much. And if they, you, you, you know, say something that, that wasn't necessarily what I was wanting to say, then um, usually because they say it, then it'll help me get past whatever I'm I'm blocking on, and then I can correct them if need be. Uh, but it it's never really like like really offended me per se. Um, it's just kind of frustrating sometimes if I'm trying to say something and then they're essentially kind of trying to guess what I'm saying, and then and then they're not getting it, and I can't get it out. Um, uh, that's that's like the only time when when it's it's just frustrating, not really uh, like. Like, I don't get mad at them. I just get frustrated at the situation because I'm, you know, trying to explain myself and I can't really say what it is I'm trying to explain. And they're just kind of guessing. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, guessing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but overall, I'd say um, that it doesn't bother me personally. Um, um, and, uh, you know, like, if anything, it just kind of helps me to kind of roll along with what I'm trying to say so I don't have to spend as much time on it. Uh, so, um, um, while I don't like actively wait for people to do it, uh, if they do it and it's what I wanted to say anyways, and I say, yeah, exactly. And then, and, 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 and then I just keep going with it. I don't really get upset about it. Oh, okay. Because the responses is just 50, 50. It's just split right down the middle because when I was younger and had a block and, if, and so people would, would try to help me that would anger me a, l a little bit because i would think why are you helping me you know does it mean that that i am broken does it mean that i am less than but when i got older past a point of where you know i don't i don't care anymore that you know i have a stutter now it's like help you help me help you because you know <laughs> i don't want to pass out you know All right you know so just you know <laughs> help me if you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> All right yeah uh, you know rather than standing there watching me you know <laughs> blink myself into oblivion here trying to say something just <laughs> oh my god you, <laughs> if you know what i'm trying to say say it <laughs> oh my god vicky you know me it's like you know me already <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay so how do you handle bad days um i I used to get down about them. Um, um, uh, I I don't have them as often anymore. Uh, probably just because um, I uh, do do pretty much the same thing every day. Like I'm 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 a um, I'm 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 a pretty set into my um, routine. You know, currently with my life type of person. So there's not really too much that's going to throw me off. Uh, but like if there's a day where I just didn't get a lot of sleep the the the, uh, the night before, and then I go into work, and then I have a stressful day at work, and and then you know there's that one you know, a, a customer that, that comes in and, and it's just not going good. And every phone call I take, I, I'm stuttering on like every word and whatnot. And I, uh, it, it, 
and it usually takes me a bit to, to, to recognize, oh, I'm just having a bad day today. Um, and, and, um, as long as I can recognize that like, yeah, today's just going to be a bad speech day, you know, then, um, um, generally if I can catch it early and I realize, you know, that, you know, this isn't just, just regular everyday stuttering, but this is a, this is going to be a bad day. Uh, then I try not to talk as much. Um, uh, and then, um, at the end of the day, I, you know, it, it's cause I know it's going to be a bad day and I go through that bad day and I just accept the fact that this day is just going to suck as far as speech right. goes. Uh, then, then I'll, I'll, I get home and I sit on my couch and I'll have my glass of wine and I'll watch some TV and go to bed cause tomorrow's another day. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and, um, it's like you are watching me through a camera because I do the same thing. <laughs> Um, I'll grab some Merlot and just hang out on the couch and just tell myself, okay, so I had a bad day. Oh, well, life goes on. Tomorrow is, uh, is another day. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. You just got to, you just got to roll with it because you can't really do anything about it. And you just got to hope that, you know, the folks around you are going to be understanding and accepting and not judge you too much for it. Right. Now, on the um, opposite side of the coin, do you celebrate wins? Like, you know, let's say you're having an awesome speech day. I mean, everything is going just fine. I mean, it's, I mean, the birds are chirping outside and I mean, it, I mean, it's just an awesome day speech wise. Do you celebrate that? Oh yeah, you have to. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I am always say that um, it's the um, little things in life that matter, and and um and uh, you have to celebrate those 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 small wins because because if you don't, then you know everything's just always going to be bad, and that's just going to make things worse overall. So if you celebrate those 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 small things, like if you you know had to tell your boss something really important and and you uh, you know didn't stutter at all. Or if you're 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 um, explaining something to to someone and you you know didn't stutter on on, on on anything or like if you had a phone call and like you made it through that phone call and didn't stutter at all those are the best. <laughs> oh yes, um, they are. Ooh. Oh yeah. Then 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 uh you know you, you you have to you know give yourself a little pat on the back you know you you, you um you know don't have to do anything really big or anything. Just, you know, just mentally say, good job. You did good with that. Good job. You know, and then you carry on, but, but, but it helps kind of keep you afloat and keep you, 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 you know, feeling, you know, good. And as opposed to just always feeling down about the fact that, you know, you, you know, you just can't talk all the time. <laughs> exactly. Wow. So here is a head scratcher. So when you are alone can you speak without stuttering? Um, I'm going to say yes. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think here. So, so generally when I'm by myself, I don't like talk like out loud, out loud. I'll, I'll kind of, you know, mumble to myself a little bit here and there. And if, if I'm, if I'm mumbling in general, I don't tend to stutter, but, um, I've got, I've got, um, a three inside cats and one, um, one, one, one cat outside. So, so, so I talk to them a lot. <laughs> um, Me too. And um, uh, right, yeah. And uh, and um, 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 when I talk to them, I don't stutter. So um, I'd say uh, probably not. Not that I can recall. I don't believe I stutter when I'm by myself. See, and that is very intriguing. It's very um interesting. Because the responses that I get back is, you know, still 50-50. And so with, with me, when I'm alone and I'm talking to myself, I still stutter. When I'm cooking, talking to myself, I still stutter. Talking to my cat, Jubal, and then my dog, Ruby Jean, I still stutter. So, I mean, we're all different in our journeys, however... We all have that common bond that we do have a stutter. However, with this podcast, it's letting other people who who stutter know that they are not alone. So, for sure, yeah. So here is a very other hot topic. So, has this ever happened to you? Let's say you have a doctor's appointment and you are 
walking into the office, the admin person is looking at you and they greet you and they ask you for your name and you have a block and it's a very long block and visually they know that you're having difficulty. Have they ever asked you, did you forget your name? <laughs> <laughs> it uh, hasn't happened in a while, uh, but um, anytime I have to say my name, whether it's a small block or a big block, I always block. It's it's I, I've, I've I can't I can't think of a single time when I've had to say my name uh, where where I haven't had to say uh or pause for a second or or you know stumble on the letter itself. I it's I've I've never been able to not block while saying my name, whether it's on the phone in person or anything. If someone says what's your name, and I just got uh. You know, and then say it, and it's just it's just how it's always been. Like like I'm always afraid of the time where I'm gonna you know call in to like take care of something with a phone bill, and and and, and I'm gonna stutter on my name, and then they're gonna think that I'm like some person trying to steal my my identity, and I'm like I promise I'm me. I just can't say my name. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I think we're twins, Vicky. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Uh, but recently, um, I can't think of anyone that's, that said that, um, when I was a kid, the, the teachers used to say it all the time. And like my mom's friends, when I go to, go to visit her at work or, 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 or something like that, they, 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 oh, did you forget your name? And I'm like, no, I didn't, I just can't say it. Uh, <laughs> it, it was a little bit annoying, but I know that, uh, you know, they're just doing it. Just, just, you know, just, it's, uh, it's, I'm just in jest, right. you know, they're not, uh, trying to be purposely hurtful so i just kind of rolled along with it and I'm like no that's <laughs> when uh, because uh, 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 um if i had a dollar for every time that happened to me um mm -hmm. i would have a range rover a bmw a mercedes benz oh, and man. a lexus <laughs> in my driveway <laughs> oh man <laughs> and so that should tell you how many times it's happened to pedro but mm -hmm. how how i handle it is is I take the time to educate that person and tell them I'm Pedro Pena. I have a speech impediment. I may have a hard time with my words, but just be patient w w with me and th and the, w the words will come out. Because I believe that when you know better, you do better. Yeah, yeah. And and um and um on those days when I know that I'm having you know like a harder time uh, talking with folks, or if it's someone who I haven't um, met before, uh, and I'm you know I'm just you know doing just the just the the uh, normal conversation about whatever it is that we're talking about, and and I'm you know starting to 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 uh, stumble really hard, then I'll you know uh, try to um insert in there you know oh sorry I've got a stutter, um give me a second, and then they oh okay gotcha, and 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 I'm and I'm um. Um, 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 and then they realize that, oh, it, you know, it, she, she does know what she's talking about. She just can't say it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yes. Oh my God. We, we, uh, we have all been there. So how do you handle job interviews? Um, <laughs> they're hard <laughs> enough as it is, Yeah. but if you have a stutter, it's like a thousand times more difficult. Oh, yeah. So how did you handle job um interviews and what was the most difficult part um all of it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes 100 <laughs> percent. next question no go ahead <laughs> uh, <laughs> right uh uh well the easiest part is shaking their hand at the end uh um, <laughs> yes i agree with that <laughs> right um I, uh, I, I just, I just muscled my way through it as well as I could. I, I, it's, I, I, I always know it's going to be bad. You know, there's, there's no way to not have a good, you know, or, or to um, not have a bad interview when you stutter. I, I think, I mean, and, and, and if there are folks with stutters that, that do good at uh, interviews, awesome for you guys. I've, I, I, I can't think of an interview I've had that, that hasn't, uh, gone good. Well, no, I take that back. Uh, so I had one uh, that went okay, but that's because the guy that was interviewing me happened to be in the same college marching band as me. He just started um a year after. Oh I wow! Uh, and and yeah, it was it was it was a crazy kawinky dink. Uh, and um and so we kind of had that common ground, which helped me relax a bit, and then I was able to talk a little bit better. Um um, 
Um, I still stuttered, uh, but it wasn't nearly as bad as pretty much every other interview I've had. Uh, and and um, I can generally tell whenever during a uh, a um, a um, interview if uh, if other person is has has I'm already you know made up in their mind that uh, they're probably not going to hire me because of my stutter. Um, but um, uh, but but generally, uh, usually halfway through it. Uh, um, the person doing the interview has figured it out. Um, uh, obviously, there's still going to be those folks who, who uh, you know, just assume, oh, she's really nervous. That's why she's stuttering, and they don't realize it's an actual speech impediment. Uh, which, which again, I guess um, um, it probably would have, you know, been a good idea on my part to lead with that. Hey, I've got a stutter. Um, just so you know, um, you're going into this, so I might kind of stumble on some words. Uh, but that's just kind of, you know, one of those hindsight things that uh, I guess going forward I will have to keep in mind. Right. Um, uh, but um, it's just it's <laughs> uh, interview suck. <laughs> Point uh, they yes. Suck. <laughs> no, no. Hashtag yes, they do, Vicky. <laughs> it, yes. <laughs> the one thing that has helped me. Going into job interviews, right off the bat, I disclose. I tell them, I'm Pedro Pena. I have a speech impediment. I may take a little bit longer to answer. However, I just wanted to let you know that it's not due to um, anything else, but that I just, I just have a stutter. And so nine times out of 10, you know, it's, it's, you know, positive, but then you have that one person who's just looking yep. at you and writing down mm-hmm. what you know um i would assume is uh, not higher <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep. and to that person i say you just lost out buddy but anyway <laughs> right yeah i'm a great person i've got a good that's person. right i move on i move on <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, 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 okay so here is a another hot topic i mean this is like super duper hot so Uh-oh. how is dating? Because dating is hard enough, you know, for everybody. But if you have a stutter, it's like a thousand times more, more d- difficult. How did you handle dating with a stutter? So, um, I, uh, and it, so that's the best way to start. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> Vicky, we are just just hanging out. It's Pedro, your BFF from Texas. It's all good. <laughs> um, so, um, in general, I guess as a personal preference, um, um, I don't uh, tend to um, have um, 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 a feelings towards someone unless I'm already friends with them. Um, uh, so, so, so in that respect, um, uh, most of the folks that I have, um, attempted to date, I've already known for a while. So there's that level of, 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 um, comfortability that kind of helps. Um, and, and then generally by then they also, um, like, like I'm already know that I stutter. Uh, but, uh, there was that, that brief period of time for a few years where I tried the online dating thing and, and, uh, and, 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 and you know, meeting people for, for the first time after just typing, which, uh, which is, oh, I had to, instant messaging was probably the best thing that ever came to, 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 a commu- to, to, um, computers and, uh, the internet that saved my life. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> uh, but, um. Um, 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 uh, it, 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 if it was someone who I had, you know, met through like a dating app or um, online or something, you know, through Facebook or whatever, and, um, and we uh, met in person, uh, I would, uh, uh, generally stick to shorter sentences so that, um, there was less opportunity to stutter. Um, and if, uh, there was a word that I knew for sure, like if I say this word with this letter, I'm going to stutter, think of another word very quickly. Um. And, uh, I, I just, uh, try and kind of avoid things that would make me stutter. And if I did, I, uh, try to, you know, work my way through it as fast as I could and just hope for the best. Um, uh, but ultimately what it came down to is, uh, you know, you know, like I'm, like, like I ended up with someone who I've known for, you know, 10 plus years and, you know, uh, and, and so they, they just kind of knew, you know, Vicky stutters, that's just Vicky. Uh, and, and it kind of worked out that way. Oh, how cool. <laughs> how cool. Um, so for Pedro, okay, let me tell you. Okay. So, so, 
<laughs> was on one date my entire life. Oh. And it was a blind date. Oh, dear. I know, right? <laughs> but but here here is here is the awesome part about nonverbals. Mm -hmm. When I walked in, there was a person and I just locked eyes and that was it. That was it. And so next February, it will be 25 years. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And so it's like, uh, oh, thank you. Um, so, so I never had to go through that dating. Um, uh, what's the right word? Fiasco? <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. A journey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hold yeah. on. No, no. Dating <laughs> adventures. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Positive spin. There exactly. You, <laughs> you know me, Vicky. You know me. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I had um, answered to your previous comment, interesting, interesting, is that mm -hmm. leads us um, into this new age of technology. You have Google Home, you have Alexa, and and then you have the one that starts with an S that I cannot say, but it's by, oh. but, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me tell you, when I, when I attempt it, it's like a tire going flat, so I just, I, okay. I just gave up. So, do you think that all of this new technology, is it helpful or um, is it like a crutch for people who stutter? So I think it can be helpful. Um, it just depends. Uh, so um, I uh, obviously I probably have to go to an actual speech pathologist to know for sure. But I think a byproduct of my stutter is that um, is that I tend to uh, mumble words or uh, blend them together because it's easier to get them all out. Um, and that has shot me in the foot a lot with, uh, with, with, uh, with, with Siri. Uh, um, 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 I, uh, was kind of late in the game to iPhones, um, or, or, or to, 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 uh, smartphones. Uh, so, um, um, uh, so, um, 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 and when I got it, uh, you know, I thought, oh, hey, yeah, this is really cool. Um, and, uh, I, I, half the time I couldn't navigate the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so when they came out with Siri, uh, which was, uh, the, the model right after my first one, uh, that, um, I had, you know, like, I was like, cool, they have this iPhone, it's got this Siri thing, I can just talk to it, and if I'm driving, it can call, it can call dad, it can call work, it can do whatever, that'll be cool, or, like, if I need to know how to, uh, get to a Walmart in a new town I haven't been to before, I can say, hey, Siri, you know, find me Walmart, uh, well, I learned very quickly, especially with, with, uh, with, with, um, addresses or, um, or, or contacts with, uh, with, 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 like, weird last names, um, uh, that, uh, my Siri can't understand me. Like I'll, I'd say, Oh, um, 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 Hey Siri, um, um, you know, find me the address to, uh, 1515 South, uh, Jefferson street. And I, and, and, oh, speaking of Siri, well, <laughs> it does work. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it does, but then it'll say, Oh, um, did you mean the address to, uh, Ireland? And I'm like, no, I didn't say Ireland. I, what, how did you even get it? Or I'd say, um, um, uh, uh, you know, call, um, 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 uh, John. And then it would, uh, bring up, you know, um, uh, five different Johns. And so then I tried to, to, to narrow it down and it'd pick every person, but the one that I wanted, or, you know, like it, it'd say, Oh, uh, or, or, or like if I, if, if I was trying to call a person, it would assume I was trying to look up the address to a bakery. And I'm like, how did you get that? I didn't say that. You come on, Siri, work with me here. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> welcome to my world, Vicky. I, I, <laughs> right you know and, and 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 like it wasn't even a matter of like you know stumbling on the words it was is the words themselves because i guess i just blur blur a lot of them together and it picks up something completely different than what i was actually saying uh but but on the flip side it's not it's not bad per se it just depends on the person because uh, i can have any other of my friends um talk to my phone and they get in and, and, and it's it's like it's like 
you know, you know, Siri's having an affair with my friend or something because, 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 because it likes it a lot more than me. And I'm just like, all right, well, Siri just hates me. So, uh, as long as I can like, at least, you know, type in the address, right. it, it'll get me there. That's all that matters. Yes. Manually <laughs> p- put it in because, yeah, because I bought an, a miss UV and mm-hmm. it's, you know, voice activated everything, <laughs> You know, and so one day I just tried it out, you know, tried to use my voice. And I mean, I spent like an afternoon. I was sweating like a dog and my heart was hurting. My chest was hurting. And so I said, you know what? I will just push a button, (laughs) you know, because life goes on. You know, I just. Yeah. So (laughs) that's just Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's just Mm -hmm. interesting. (laughs) I'm like, I know I don't have that much of an accent. Like, come on, Siri, work with me. Yes, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Now, speech-wise, what is a challenge that you had to overcome, and how did you do it? Um, uh, let's see. Um, well, I, I, I... I um, kind of keep just sort of going back to um, to to public speaking in general. Um, um, I I um, used to say that I'm, I'm I'm a shy person in front of crowds, but honestly, you know, you know, looking back on it, you know, it, it probably had a lot to do with my stutter. Um, and um, I I had to mentally um, you know tell myself to 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 uh, you know make like Nike and just do it. <laughs> uh, I like that. Know. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you just you just got to do it, you know, cuz cuz if you don't, you know, either you're going to miss out on a opportunity or or something that needs to get done isn't going to get done and and if it has to be done, it has to be done, so you just have to do it. Uh and so um 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 as I got older, I would just kind of push myself to 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 uh you know, do the thing. If if I had to go and, you know, talk to this person about something that um I had been 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 um, putting off for a while because I knew that the conversation was going to be stressful, which was going to make me stutter more, um I would I would allow myself, you know, uh just like I'm depending on the situation, I would allow myself anywhere from a few hours to like a day or two. And if I hadn't done it, by the end of that allotted time, I say, okay, just go and do it. You have to do this. Go do it. Like you don't have any choice. Just do it. You're going to stutter and they're going to have to deal with it because, <laughs> because this has to be right. done. Uh, and it was just that I just had to like, like consciously mentally make myself do it. Cause I knew that if I didn't, I would find some kind of a way to talk myself out of it. So I just mentally, as I got older, I was like, okay, this is, this is going to be hard. You know, you're probably not going to be able to say everything exactly how you want to, and that's going to suck, but you have a stutter, you have to deal with it, go and do this. Right. How cool. Now, what has stuttering taught you? Um, that, um, everyone's different and, that you know you know not everyone is going to be this this perfect model of what you think that you know a human being should be uh and and um um i part of it's probably just my own you know personality and whatnot but uh, i've always been a very um accepting person um um um, I was the person um, in school who would, you know, go out of their way to go and sit next to the kid who, like, no one else would sit next Aww. to. You. And like, you that's know. so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, because because I figure, you know, like like I've had people, you know, treat me differently because of my stutter or 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 you know because of what I look like. So you know, like I don't want someone else to have to feel the way that I felt when when someone did that to me. So, you know, just because they're different or just because they they say things differently or they look differently or they walk differently or uh, or uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, uh doesn't mean that that uh you know, they're not still a person who should be valued. So, so I feel like, you know, my stuttering has has taught me, you know, one to be patient and 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 and, and two to be kind. Be- because because you never really know until you get to know someone, you know, what they're struggling with. And 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 you know, for me it's 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 you know, having having, you know, like an hour long con- con- conversation with people, but you know, for other folks it might be, you know, walking across the street cuz you know, they've, you know, got some type of a you know, you know, you know physical disability. And it's it you just 
you just got to be kind to everyone and be patient with everyone because, you know, that's the only way that, you know, we're going to be able to get along and make it through in this world. Right. Wow. That's so powerful. Stern has taught me compassion. It's taught me empathy. And that has been huge because I'm now able to put myself in another person's shoes and and that has taught me a great deal about who um, I am as a person. And so Stern has taught me a great many things. So, so I'm very thankful for that. So what advice would you give to another person who stutters? Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, the, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, we're going to have to live with. Uh, and, 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 you know, yeah, some people, you know, eventually grow out of it and some people don't, and that's okay. That doesn't make you, 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 you know, you know, like any worse than, 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 a, you know, that person, you know, it just means that it's just something that's going to stick with you and you just got to learn to kind of roll with it and adapt and figure out things that work for you, but just don't be hard on yourself. You know, it's, 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 it's not something that you can control, obviously, uh, so accept it for what it is and, and just know that, you know, you, you are a person that stutters. And if you find people who just can't get around that, then, you know, you don't need them in, 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 in uh, your life. You know, you can find people that will accept you for who you are and how you talk and, 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 and value you as a person that, that, that you are and, and, and see your own value and know that, you know, it, it's, it's going to be all right. You know, you're, you're you're still every bit of a valuable, you know, part to, you know, society as, as, as a, you know, anyone else, you know, you don't, you, you, you don't have to, you know, talk like some, you know, Senator up in, you know, Washington, DC, who can, who can, you know, give a speech for hours, you know, you, you don't have to be Abraham Lincoln. You can, you know, just be Vicky or Pedro, you know, stumbling over our words here and there. Right. <laughs> right. Wow. That is awesome, powerful, awesome um, advice. So if you had the opportunity to tell the world about st stuttering, you know, they put you on a, a world stage. What? Oh, dear. Yes, I know. <laughs> it gets better. Hold on, Vicky. <laughs> okay. Oh, <dear. laughs> so what would you like to tell the world about stuttering well <laughs> this is a this is a fun one okay um <laughs> well i i guess uh i would say that stuttering is a thing uh and it's you know a a much more common thing than people realize um um i feel like uh, because of uh, the wide range of types of stutters it could be a very mild one or it can be you know very extreme um um, to the point where, you know, the person almost can't talk, uh, and, 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 you know, people can fall anywhere on that, 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 uh, that, um, a spectrum of, 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 uh, you know, really profound to not really all that bad. And, and, and because of that, you know, you can run into someone where like, like as soon as they start talking, you know, oh, this person stutters, or you can have a conversation with someone for um, an hour and then realize, Hey, I think this person has a stutter. Huh? Okay. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's there. It is a thing that exists. It's not, you know, always as noticeable as, as, you know, other, you know, types of, 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 um, impediments and things like that, you know, but it's a thing that exists and that you should be aware of it and, 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 and be mindful because when you run into someone who stutters, you know, they can be someone who's really comfortable with themselves like me, or they can be someone who's extremely insecure about it. And, and, and if you, you know, point it out or make a big deal about it or, or, or worse yet, you know, make them feel bad about it, you know, that, that could, that could be really detrimental to, 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 uh, you know, their mental health and whatnot. And, and if you, you know, are consciously aware of the fact that there are people that stutter and they're, and, and, and that they're all around you, uh, then you can be, you know, part of, you know, that change of making, you know, them feel better and not feel like, you know, they are less than anyone else, you know, because they can't talk like everyone else. Um, 
and and I guess if I was going to say anything to the world, I'd say that is that we're here, we're around you, uh, and be aware, you know, and be understanding. Wow. I love that answer. <laughs> I have goosebumps, Vicky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me compose myself because I mean, that just kind of blew me away. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Your hashtag awesome, Vicky. So, okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, I would like to thank you, Vicky, f- for spending time with me this evening and sharing your story because I believe that there's healing in sharing. Um, I think you are courageous. You are just hashtag awesome. And so I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for sp- spending one hour and 13 minutes with me <laughs> on this podcast, telling your story because you have a voice. And so I think you, you, you are just awesome. Thank you. Now I have an awesome audience. I mean, they're all over the world. They are global. So, okay. Let's say they wanted to reach out to you. How would they do that? Uh, well, um, I do have a, a Twitter account. Um, and uh, I recently started uh, a, a YouTube channel um, uh, where um, I do talk on stuttering. Um, uh, I feel like it's something that should be be um, 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 brought to light uh, more just, you know, because, again, we are here and, you know, we should have a voice as well. Uh, and, 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 and then I talk on other stuff, you know, about life and lifestyle and the world and, you know, just you know, talking, chatting with folks. Um, um, I have an Instagram. Um, uh, I don't use it as often as I probably should, but I do have one. Um, and then, um, if anyone ever wants to, you, you know, talk to me, you know, directly, um, 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 I've got a, uh, a, uh, I guess business, e- uh, business email, um, um, if you will, that I have as well. Perfect. We will have those links in the, sh- in the sh- show notes that way they can just click on it and find you. Now, one more thing before we go. So you are writing a book, right? Trying to anyways. <laughs> Down the road, w- w- once your book is almost finished or or um, it's done, come back on, okay? Oh, cool. Thanks. And we will talk about it because I think you 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 are just awesome. So would well, would you. like to thank you again. I hope you have a great evening and you be well. You as well. Thank you for having me. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you like this podcast, head on over to Apple iTunes. Subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you for listening. And we will talk again.